Welcome to this first exercise with the Libre parts. Let's start by making, of course, the part from exercise number one, which starts on the YZ plane, which we'll find right here. We'll activate our sketch, and I'll start using my line tool by clicking on the origin and moving straight up. And you'll notice I have these blue automatic constraints that show up when I click. These make quick work of trying to make a fully constrained sketch and are quite valuable. So making sure that I'm using my automatic constraints, let's now start to dimension this. I'll come to this line and make this a distance of 72 rather. And we'll come over here, make this a distance of 12. And then I've got my equal relation right here that I can set these lines to be equal. And then I can use a horizontal and set these points to be horizontal. And finally, you'll see that I might want to set these lines equal as well. Next, I can add another dimension. Maybe I can make this line 24. And I can select these points, make a vertical dimension of 13. And then from this point to this point, I can do 25. And that should fully constrain us. So we'll deactivate the sketch. And let's go to Extrude. We'll specify midplane. I'll make this a depth of something like 60. Now, why don't I select this top face and activate a sketch? I'd like to project one edge. Actually, we'll make that a sketch figure with maintained association. This allows me to use a tangent arc, which I find very convenient. Right? It just remains tangent to the endpoint that you choose. You can also use the symmetry or mirror sketch if you prefer to constrain that way. We'll add a horizontal onto this line. And on this dimension, we'll do something like a radius of 18 millimeters. And I'll be sure to use my equal. Next, I'll want to establish a distance. Let's say from this point to this point vertically, we'll go with 12. I want to add in two circles off of the center points of these arcs. We'll make sure that these are equal as well. And then I'll add a dimension and give these a diameter of 18. And that's pretty valuable to know, right? Arcs are defined by their radius and circles are defined by their diameter. So even though these both are 18, we're talking radius and diameter. We'll deactivate the sketch. Let's do an extrude now. And let's go with a distance of, well, first off, let's specify dual depth and go with a distance of 12. And then a distance of 24. Yep, and that looks about right. Next, we might want to add a fillet. If I edit my sketch, I can always select a sketch fillet. And I can add fillets into my sketch if I wish. It all depends on design intent. But I can also, instead of adding it into the sketch, add it afterwards with our fillet feature. Again, sketches are probably a little bit more efficient, but it depends on your design intent, as you can have a lot of benefits by using a fillet afterwards. So we can add a five millimeter fillet on each of those edges. And then I may want to fill in some of my part. I can select this bottom face here, activate a sketch on it, and let's import. So I'll project here, here, and here with maintained association. So we've got sketch figures in here. And then I want to project again, but this time we'll make it a reference figure. We'll go to this circle 
and to the circle. Again, we'll maintain association. And that gives me some nice arc centers to reference from. Select a line here, and I'm going to select a vertical constraint and make sure that my endpoint of my arc is vertical on that center point. And we'll select a horizontal on this line. Now that we're fully defined, I can deactivate my sketch and I can do an extrude. Uh, I think an extrusion of 12 millimeters is the right dimension. So we'll select extrude and I'll just reverse this and we've already got our 12 millimeters in there. Next, I want to add a nice support rib. Maybe I'll highlight this face and activate a sketch. And I'd like to project this edge as well as this edge. And we're going to say maintain dissociation. And then all I have to do is draw a line from point to point. All right, we'll deactivate, we'll make an extrusion, and I'll reverse my direction, and there's our 12 millimeter rib. Lastly, I want to add in a nice slot shape, which I'll select this face and sketch on. Uh, I can find that here with an Aubrown shape, and I can define it as follows. I can add 25 millimeters, 16 millimeters, and we'll leave that as zero. And then um, I'll click once and apply. Now I can close and position this. All dimension from this edge to this center point. We'll give it a distance of 26.5. And then from here to this point, we'll go 25 and we're fully defined. So let's deactivate, extrude, and I can specify through all. And that should be our exercise part. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next exercise.